Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to Monday night, 10 paces. I'm revved up. Oh yeah, ready to be here, happy to make your life hell for the next two hours. Yeah, so we hope you opt in to do a little hell making tonight. That's right. You sound pretty rare in the go, Travis. Oh yeah, I got I am speed, Aaron. Are you? Are you speed? I am speed. Don't look at that. Well, how Wait, speed? I uh speed enough to to race. All right, but uh, do you have a car? Ooh, uh, I I thought being speed was enough. I mean, the human legs can only go so fast, unless you're wanting me to, uh, graft you some new ones. Uh, uh... It's a little expensive, but... We might... Yeah, I don't know that my insurance will cover that. Oh, it's okay, no insurances will. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I don't have the, the capital up front, but... You know, we do have all these... Remember when we had this kind of junkyard issue yeah it's still there yeah uh i noticed we there's a lot of metal a lot of steel and a lot of engine parts and a lot of junk yeah sure is but so, i think i can salvage some of this and make something uh something real nice I mean, it would be better than just staring at this ever-growing junk pile, so be my guest. Yeah, trash into treasure, or whatever the saying is. That's right. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna build a car that goes real fast. Yeah, one that races with with velocity. A car built for speed. I'm in it. And you're in it to win it, because we got uh, legs to graft on to you. Yeah, and that's... Gotta win that prize money if I'm gonna get that leg surgery. Dude, it's like a $400,000 procedure, and it's about a $399,000 prize pool. Ooh, I just gotta... I gotta make up the last thousand myself, I guess. Call that a... Deductible. Yeah. See, that's the insurance for you. Uh, I got 30 minutes on this clock. You ready? Yeah, I can do that. Hell yeah. Three, two, one, and draw. Now, what do you think makes a car fast? Um, wheels. Yeah, probably With, gonna need some wheels. Without wheels, you probably aren't going places unless you got some stand-in. Um... Gotta have a uh, nice little like fire or lightning decals if we can find them. Oh, yeah, that lets the world know that you are fast. Ooh, and uh, um, fast cars all kick out that fire. Yeah. So it's gotta have some that some in, fire in Rocket League. That's right, all those cars are pretty fast. Yes, and when you go extra fast, you spit out sparkles or slime or something. Yeah. Uh, have you played much Rocket League? Uh, I used to play a good bit. Ooh, we should get back into it. Uh, it just seems like a lot. Well, yeah, but it's fun. Yeah, I, I never... Got to the I fun don't part. have the time to invest to to get good, as it were. That's fair. It is. Um, new players feel like fish flopping around on land. That's exactly it. I've never gotten past that. Is there any getting past that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you'll get the the first. Thing you'll do is I just want to hit that ball I want to hit that ball so fucking hard oh I gotta get that ball 
And you'll do that sometimes, and more often, you'll hit players and piss everyone off. And you'll do that for a while. And then eventually, you'll get to the point where you're, you're hitting the ball a little more, and uh, you'll start, like, trying to kick it into their side more often than just hitting it as fast as you can. You'll, you'll start to try to make those kicks. And then eventually, uh, people will start flying everywhere and you'll either give up or start trying to fly and then i don't know maybe you get good maybe you don't that's that's basically where i am it's the the air combat that i had trouble with yeah that's um just repetition just trying to do it and knowing that you're gonna fail for a long time uh there's a bunch of training modes which i know you said you don't have the time to put in but still um the training modes do help they don't take that long um, when I was talking to people that play it more competitively, they're like, how long should I take to warm up? And someone else is like, do a 40 minute regiment of, of 10 minutes of this, 10 minutes of that, 10 minutes of that, and 10 minutes of that. And I was like, do you know how long, how many games I could get in 40 minutes? Enough games to be done with Fort Red, with uh, Rocket League for a while. Like, I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna do fucking training to get into the game, but they're playing ranked and shit. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, we do have those connections with some big-time Rocket League players. That's true. I know all the Being pros. part of the Eccentric Collective, one of our early episodes, in fact, we designed a Rocket League skin. Hell, yeah. It was fun. Yeah, I had a good time. Clown, what do you mean you're not to... dubbed? Oh, they don't have that crown. You don't have that crown? You dropped your crown, queen? Hey, queen. You dropped this. Oh, better pick it up. <laughs> I don't know what that means, so I'm not going to say it. It's you, baby. Fuck, you know what that means? Uh, yeah, some of the big kids were, were saying it, and they let me know. Were they saying it in the back of the bus again? Yeah. Dang. They let me hang out back there, because I'm basically a big kid. Dude, that's so cool. Do you ever, like, throw... F okay, w before I before I give any examples, what's the weirdest thing you saw happen, like, on a bus that you were on, or, like... A school bus, I'll say. Um, weirdest thing or coolest thing or... Just tell me an interesting bus story. Uh, just like, bit aside, real life bus story? Yeah! Um... I did go to the back of the bus and there was a... Satanist kid who... Just a real edge lord, uh, but much older. Uh, who I went like nerd rage on because he was saying cusses at me. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, so that that stands out, and obviously there were, you know, people in or above <laughs> my grade who would like flash the bus as. You know, mm, they were driving past an edgy move. That's pretty cool. Do you have any fun bus stories? Uh, one time a guy and I were hanging out and I tied a string around a little action figure and dropped it outside of the bus and then it clacked around uh, the ground cool. and it like flew around. It was cool. That was, that yeah, was that's a lie. Superman. <laughs> that was just from uh, Napoleon uh, Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite and. I think they may have also done it in uh, Whitest Kids at one point when when uh, they were trying to get the bus driver mad at them, and then they started talking about like geopolitics or something, that, which did get the bus driver mad at them. <laughs> I don't remember the exact uh, skit. But it's a good one. Uh, did you ever have the substitute bus driver airplane Bob? No. 
uh, socialism. Is he what wore like that old school uh, aviation helmet or aviation hat. You know, the kind with like the goggles and little flaps over the years. Yeah. Um, and I would always tell people like Happy Easter and stuff <laughs> as they got off the bus. Was it Easter? No, never. Okay. I we guess were in school. Yeah, we would have been at home celebrating Easter like good Christians. Celebrating the Lord's Day. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, he does another one that he would say. Yep. Happy birthday. Happy Hanukkah. Um. Go fuck yourself. Um. I before. never got that one. Oh. Well, he only got to use it once, so it was for a very special kid. <laughs> and I don't mean that sp kid? special, you know, yeah. That kid was a jerk. Was Bill Gates. That's right. Little Billy Gates. <laughs> He's like, I'll show you. I'll show you Airplane Bob. <laughs> See, Airplane Bob's immortal, and now we're going to have to draw Airplane Bob at some point. It's a shame I've already... Uh, I... Sorry? Oh, I don't want to... I hope Airplane Bob is living peacefully, and I don't want to thought form him back into my reality. Oh, we've already summoned him. Oh, yeah, I guess we did say the name. Mm -hmm, many times. Like, at least five times yeah. in this episode alone. In fact, chat, can you say Airplane Bob? <laughs> Hi, Carly. Yeah, propagate it. Spread it out. He lives in us all. Driving bus to bus. <laughs> That's pretty close. Clown, thank you. <laughs> I, uh... I like to believe that Airplane Bob was putting aside that bus money and maybe sealing bus parts to build an actual plane. Dude, that would be so dope, That's what actually. I like to believe. Like that episode of Recess, where they... they crash down near an old farm, mm -hmm. and then they have to rebuild the bus. I don't remember this one. I believe you, but I do not recall. So I definitely want to see that episode at some point. Oh, it rules. Because they, uh, well, I mean, they do just that, but they kind of Mad Max out their bus. Maybe that's where, uh, my fascination with Mad Max and that kind of, like, rust punking of cars came from. Yeah, maybe. I'm looking at a pretty rust punk car right now that, uh, Clown's driving in old Fortnite. Have you ever heard of the uh, Tesla Cybertruck? Oh, I think I have. Pretty, pretty powerful the electric vehicle. Truck that doesn't even work in video games. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's backing up. And there it goes. You probably didn't hear it drive away. It's whisper Does silent. That truck at the. Is that? truck actually have a backup alarm in the game? No, that'd be really funny. It is quieter than any of the other vehicles, so it is technically a strategic advantage. Stealth Ops. Yep. Multiple times I didn't know I was being followed by like a squad mate until they've ramped off a hill and crash on top of me. And I'm like, oh, there's a car on top of me. I could see... Elon being like, uh, it's gotta be quiet. Yeah, you can only put my car in your game if it's the best car in the game. Yeah. It's gotta be faster and tougher and quieter and better. Uh, can't blow up. That's bad PR. You know, in uh, old racing games that were, uh, that had like actual car brands, they wouldn't allow damage to the car. Jeez. Mm hmm. So you just gotta get the branded ones in order to in order to sustain no damage. Oh, they were just all branded. Oh, 
But that, but when uh, asked why there was no car destruction, it's like, yeah, there's brands, they don't like their cars being destroyed. That's wild. Yep. I always, it's always so weird where brands draw the line like that. Yeah. But I mean, they're not creatives and they have some weird perceived image of whatever bullshit they're putting out there's some cars that you can't resale for like the first year or something i think the cyber trucks like that and uh some cars that you can't like paint certain colors jesus yeah it's fucking dumb so, so it's cars as a service and not yeah paying to own a car <laughs> say that again it's cars as a service oh yeah that's uh i mean that's any electric vehicle. Yeah, definitely. Um, With all of the app integration and needing some kind of internet access. Yeah, I need approval to charge my Tesla or whatever. Bullshit. I want to make I want to make an electric car that can sap off of any kind of electrical source. Even bio? Yeah. Nice. You just put some jumper cables on, cables on your nipples and... Then <laughs> juice up. Go to town. Literally. Juice up, go to town. It's a car that runs on you. <laughs> it was a Ferrari. You can't have a pink Ferrari. Watch me. They'll get mad at you. They'll send the Pinkertons. <laughs> Is that how they got that name? Yep. <laughs> just, and, uh... Carly says, just turn the interior into a Matrix jelly pod. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a, a secondhand Ferrari, so I've never agreed to anything like this. Because there's no way they can have a master agreement that I never agreed to. I have no idea. And I'm going to Barbie the fuck out of it. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, I was going to say, the uh, laws are fucking tricky. And agreements? Yeah, maybe it's one of those, like, yes to all things I, I put in back in the day. It's just hidden in a bunch of contracts that are unrelated. No resale. Like I, what about trading? I said I wouldn't harass people in RuneScape. I never... I don't think I ever scammed anyone in RuneScape. Unless you count... Okay. I have, because we did that whole standing on one tile PKing trick. I'd say that counts as a scam. I got scammed. And I was oh, I got scammed. Yeah, me too. No one's going to somebody at trim our armor. school. Oh my god, who? Say their name right now. I'm going to dox them. Do it. Their name was Steve. Boop. Can't say that. We'll, we'll edit it and post. Okay. <laughs> well licensed Number second hand. Where is this car going to be? I'm not sure. They might just have like some sort of rolling agreement with the title. Yeah, that's... That would make sense. But though Clown says uh, they're just not for resale, but I've seen people selling Ferraris, so I don't know. Oh, official use dealers. dealers, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, that's not the kind of dealer I'm used to. Oh yeah, you only get new. That's right. New you, uh, in a cash parking garage that's located under underground. Under the normal, you know, used car lot. You uh, you ask where the elevator is, and they go, "Oh, right here." It's that easy. Mm-hmm. But most people don't think to ask. No. They're like, oh, there's clearly no elevator here. It's one story. Okay, plebeian. 
yeah turns out you just gotta you gotta reach out you gotta talk to your fellow man clown says they're specifically avoiding the image of a leopard print ferrari well now i definitely want a pink leopard print ferrari Ooh, it's gotta happen with like you know fuzzy leopard print uh interior Mr. Beast, yep. you know what you gotta do. Not specifically, but there's like six approved colors. Well, they're just afraid of creativity. Yeah, Mr. Beast, come here. <laughs> come on, it's bad be quality content. I pissed Ferrari off for this. With the O face on the thumbnail. <laughs> yep. You've got about 12 minutes remaining. Let's put some color on this beastie here. Is there a Mrs. Beast? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh. I get married for content? <laughs> Did you get married for a, a prank video? Um... Like... What? Would you get married for some kind of YouTube video? Sure. Do you have a video in mind? Uh, not yet. Oh. Just, Just taking really, calls. Uh, Oops. Taking <laughs> ideas. <laughs> well, apparently that was binding, because, uh, I've got a ring on my finger now. <gasps> it works. Wait, Travis, are you wearing a ring, too? I might be. I don't know. Clown says... I don't know. Is this a thing? Are we a thruple? Is this how it happens? <laughs> sure are. <gasps> but only for content. I accidentally became a thruple for content. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? I mean, this is why I got my teeth cleaned today. For me? <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to... I love clacking them. ...look good for for our wedding day. I hope everybody at home can tell. Does it sound like my sound is coming in more cleanly? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can hear the air whistling around your teeth. <laughs> you can hear the little gleams. Clown? Jesus maybe didn't consent. But I'm not getting married to Jesus. So, I'm getting married to you. I'm getting married to you, Travis Poo. <laughs> Aw, honey bun. Travis, I asked you not to call me that, except for in bed. When we're, you know, playing magic. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. It's okay. Sound haunted. Oh. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Travis, are you more of a babe or a bub guy? For pet Good names. You love a bub. Yeah, you love a good bub. Rub yeah. a rub a dub bub. <laughs> <laughs> Three bubs in a tub. <laughs> you got about eight and a half remaining. If I can make it happen? How are we gonna kill eight and a half minutes though? What have you been up to? Uh I recently beat both Yakuza Zero and a game called Mafia. It was the remaster of a game called Mafia. Oh, I played the original. Oh, cool. I could not beat the uh Racing mission? Getaway car segment. 
and Sigmund. Uh, which one? Uh, the first one. Oh, jeez. It was so bad. The controls were abysmal. It was really, really tough. Yeah, it's uh, still pretty rough, just driving. But I think the driving's pretty fun. It's, but a little caveat: I enjoy um, GTA 4 driving, so I like floaty boats, and they're supposed to be old, so it, it made sense in my brain. I also liked to turn on manual instead of automatic transmissions. Hmm. Which, uh, it's the very beginning. Oh, jeez. Oh. With the with the jumps and shit, I think those were added for definitive edition. I think they just gave you shortcuts, um, because people were complaining about them. Um, in the definitive edition, there's little like markers that you can hit that just let you do little like stunt jumps, and the cops go, "Oh, we're dumb." That sounds go, rad. I would go, much rather play that version. Well, uh, it's probably pretty cheap. I played it on Game Pass. I might renew Game Pass. We'll see. Yeah. Just for... I love that ability with Game Pass. The ability to, uh, like, renew it just at your leisure. Whatever yeah. Whatever you want to play. And you don't so even, that's what like... I did with, uh, Psychonauts. The second one? Yep. Nice. And you don't even, like, lose your save data. It's very forgiving. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then I renewed it uh, mm. for another game. I think it was Hi-Fi Rush. Probably. But... Uh, good news, they're alive again. Yeah, I heard. Good for I... them. Uh, game still isn't for me, but... That's fine. Happy for the studio as a whole. The game did really well. Like... I'm not critiquing you or anything. The game did really well. It was really weird that Microsoft just went, yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, and I and mean, then immediately went, we want small time developers to make really good, critically acclaimed games. Which was Hi-Fi Rush. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll never understand corporate decision making in nope. you know, very creative fields. It just didn't make enough, I guess. Uh, in the effort of speed, I think I'm done. Hell yeah, uh, I'll, I'll remember that. Ahead of time. That's a good uh, lap pace, Travis. We'll see how that goes. Tell me about your ride here. Yeah, so this is number 12. Uh, it's got some independently shocked and stabilized front tires here. It's all sleek. It's got kind of a, I'd say, a 1960s experimental car look. Yeah. With a... 1930s safety procedure. <laughs> yeah, I like the uh, armor grill in front. Yeah, I mean, that's just for style more than anything. For sure, but... And I guess for cows. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you a full 8K. Ooh, we're on our way. We're on our way, hot and ready. Now, all Travis, this is a great vehicle. I don't want to disparage it at all, but what's a great vehicle without some upgrades? No upgrades, you say? I got a whole catalog here. Now, the thing is, I think it's more fun if we just throw some darts, hit some upgrades, and see where we go. Yeah, I mean, we did put up that dartboard that we found in the junk. It's a little moldy, but it still works. Yeah, I don't have to touch it. That's right. Did you um find any darts? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Nah, I can just throw these knives. It'll it'll work out. Yeah. I mean, we always got the old standby. Oh, that's true. That's that true. That casino has been kind of sunsetting for a while now. Yeah, we might have to uh, retrofit it, see what we can do about that. However, Travis, the shop's open. You ready? Oh, I sure am. Let's see what we get first. Now this, this catalog is 
bursting at the seams. I don't think we've had a bigger wheel. Oh, sorry, a bigger dartboard. And first up... Yeah, yeah. First up, huh, we've got Sex Appeal. Ooh, well, I mean, just stick me in that driver's seat, know what I'm saying? Hey, if that's what you want to do. You want uh, a few more of these upgrades? Uh, let's start off one at a time. Okay, okay. We got Sex Appeal. I think I know what to do for this. Perfect. I know what to do for this too. I've got. Do you want me to throw on that extra time, or do you want to uh, just go flat thirty again? We'll go flat thirty. I'm going for lap best. All right, lap best. You got to beat. Uh, what was it? Twenty, twenty-four. Uh, twenty-five 20... and change. Yeah, something or like 24 that. Twenty-four and change. Uh, looks like five. To the, the five nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, twenty-four, forty-one. Three, two, one, draw. All right. Did I lock this? I sure did. All right. Yeah, see, I so don't... So, you know... Yeah. You know what really makes cars sexy? I don't. Uh, I don't. When you know they're a girl. Okay. So, since we're going for sex appeal, we're not going to put truck nuts on it. Cause that wouldn't be a sexy car. Car sexy has girl parts. I mean, you got me so far, but you got me ready to pop. We're gonna add some eyelashes. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna give it lipstick. Can you? Cause um, you gotta know it's a girl. Can you please balloon out the butt a little bit? I know it'll make it a little less aerodynamic, but. Oh yeah, we're giving this the full Pixar treatment. Okay, good. Yeah, give it a mom tush. <laughs> Makeup. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna give it some burden hips. All I'm saying is, when I'm done, number twelve is gonna be looking like number thirteen. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're really gonna juice this one up. Yeah, I'm gonna be juicing it up, all right. <laughs> uh, while I juice. Yeah. Uh, talk to the people at home. Hey, people. How you doing? Uh, Yakuza 0 was really good. I can't talk too much about it because there's spoilers. But, uh, it took place in the 80s. Uh, a huge economic boom. So you're dealing with, like, millions of yen. Like, it's nothing. Um, Is there a lot of city pop? Uh, there's a good amount. Uh, but it's not like the soundtrack it's like atmospheric city pop like you'd hear it coming from a store or something yeah that's what you want yeah like I haven't been playing uh, like a dragon very diligently but a lot of the soundtrack does come from ambient sources and that's what I like about it um yeah, there are a few times in the Yakuza series where, like, in a scene, they'll play a song, and it's, like, really impactful and really well done. Um, but usually, if you want a song, you'd, like, I don't know, go play karaoke, uh, mm -hmm. which is fun. You can invite other NPCs to go play karaoke. There's a whole, um, like, cabaret club minigame where you run a... Uh, a, cl a club with a bunch of hostesses and you treat your patrons just to a good night or whatever. It's nothing weird. It's nothing s s overly sexual. It's just talking and drinking and being like, ooh, you're so cool and only give, give money. Where was I going with this? Yeah. Um, you just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. You did yeah. karaoke. I did some karaoke on Friday. You did now? Yeah. Uh, I went to... A my usual haunt, the crack box here in St. Louis. It's a, a dope goth bar. Uh, and while I talk, why don't you give me another spin? I think this car is looking sexy. Hell yeah. I'll do that. Keep talking. Keep talking. Uh, but the, the person running karaoke there has such an incredible 
uh, selection. Like, their book is massive. Um, and they've got a bunch of really niche stuff, too, which I appreciated. Like, they had songs from Scott Pilgrim. They had Proto Men. Wow. But a local punk band, like, kind of an unofficial event, rallied up a bunch of people to go out and do punk rock karaoke. Oh, that's fun. And so I went up and sang some Misfits. People were doing, you know, some old staples, some Rancid, some uh, Blink-182. And so a lot of the local punk scene came out to play. It was a lot of fun. What a fun time. Uh, Travis, speaking of fun, you got a catapult. Ooh, gonna catapult this one together. I know where this catapult can rest. Yeah, me too. Right where I'd like to sleep. <laughs> Nested safely until you're fucking out of there, dog. <coughs> have you ever done karaoke? I have not. I'd have to. Sometime. I know it's a, a bit of a ways, but... I've um, been to karaoke many times, well not many times, but multiple times, uh, mostly because the bar that I, I would ever go to had like really cheap, some night of Thursdays I think it was like $10 for, not, I guess it was called All You Can Drink or Thirsty Thursdays or whatever. Um, oh, I remember that. I went once. <laughs> Just wasn't for you? Um, I got my money's worth. Yeah, that's fair. That's why I would go, because I'm like, yeah, ten bucks for, I don't know, pitchers of beer? Okay, I guess. Those were like early drinking days, whenever yeah. it was, you know, quantity over quality. Yep. And just drinking to to really poison yourself. Yeah, see, see how far you can push it. Because that's what we understood drinking to be. Yeah. But that also was an amazing deal. <laughs> Clown, why did you say blood from cows or makeup from ladies? I, I could see some makeup companies using cow's blood. Yeah. That's why all the lipstick oh, on the car. say uh, cow's blood free nowadays. I always wondered, but never questioned. Oh yeah, you don't want to question the makeup industry. No, I hear a lot of people disappear when that happens. Yeah. Uh, Estee Louder. Who? More like Estee Quieter forever. That was probably a good uh, one. Nix? More like gonna nix you. <laughs> um, wet and wild? More like wet because you're at the bottom of the ocean. Wild. Thank you. Um, Sephora? More like suffer mora. Because they're going to torture you, rip out your fingernails. Anyway. Alta? More like, I'll tell <laughs> no one where you're buried. <laughs> I, I don't know more makeup. Walmart? More like, why bother? <laughs> Alright, give me another. We got a catapult. Okay. That's what That's I like prime, to hear. Baby. This list will never stop. I don't think you can get through this whole list. Extreme polish. Ooh, okay. So we're adding some lighting effects into this. That's, That's right. going to be a pain for future editions. That's right. Uh, but we got to make this baby shine. S Sparkle. I can make that happen. 
Yeah, I believe in you. You just gotta make it look like shitty CG. Like, no. the, like the second season of uh, One Punch Man. Hell yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Anyone can do that, am I right? That's right. <laughs> that reminds me of a, um, a screenshot I saw where I think it was... I don't remember who it was that worked on a show. I think it was maybe One Piece or something where they were tr saying how, like, shitty, shittily drawn it was. And, like, uh, someone else had commented on that. And they were like, anyone can do this. And it was like, I could do this. He's like, no, you fucking couldn't. He's like, yes, I'm in the credits. I literally did this. <laughs> People are so shitty, is what it comes down to. Oh, yeah. Like... I see that all the time on you didn't see it so much on I mean back when Twitter was a functional website um, yeah rip you saw it less there because you know the community would come and drag you but I hear that TikTok can be really awful um, and I, I catch myself watching some Facebook reels sure every now and again but that's how it starts if i haven't it like it'll automatically replace like the description on the reel with a comment and yeah they're always just fucking horrible yeah i've heard uh you know i think youtube probably has the nicest and that's a stretch um shorts comments but that's, yeah. a, that's a fucking stretch, because YouTube comments get nasty, too. And I don't know what the thing... The thing with uh, the Facebook Reels, though, is... Like, that blows my mind. Is that it's people posting from their accounts <laughs> from that, their you know, have accounts. their face and their... Their given name on there. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm sure if you went to that account, you'd see the same shit on their wall. Yeah, that's just who they are. Yeah. It's it's wild out there, folks. <laughs> yep. But hey, if you want to talk some shit, get in our comments. Yeah, we'll probably respond. Any engagement's good engagement. And if you say mean things, we'll delete your comment, and then you can say them again. Yeah. You get more bang for your buck that way. That's right. We get this, we get you Best know the ten paces guaranteed. Think of it this way: if we delete your comment, you know we read it. Yeah, unless it was auto deleted, but hey, that'll keep you going until like the next video, I guess. Yeah, you little goblin. The ragamuffins out there. <laughs> You've got about eighteen minutes remaining, a little under. Oh, I can really make this happen. Do the second lap here. Now you see the thing about a good polish is it's it's no good if you don't have that contrast. That's what really sets it over the top. All right, so we gotta put that there. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Oh yeah. You were never really a car guy, right? Nope. Were I like there any what I was gonna ask like were there ever any cars that really stood out to you that... I've always liked the uh, DeLorean yeah it's got a sleek just fun design yeah it's got a uh, it's it kind of reminds me of those uh drift cars in a way I guess because it's boxy but I, I love the oh yeah like the initial D yeah but I absolutely love the uh, doors. Mm-hmm. Those, like, eagle hatch doors that mm. yeah. you'd see on that and, like, a Ferrari. Yep. Have to bring those assholes back into this. <laughs> they always find a way. What about you? Um, 
I remember going to a car show as a kid and I really like this car called the Excalibur. Um, and I know for a fact you've seen at least a rendition of this car. Uh, but it was just interesting. It had a bunch of craziness going on. And then some boomer came up and was like, can you believe this guy brought this car here? And I was like, oh, I like a bad car. <laughs> And I felt really bad, because I'm like, I liked cars bad. But uh, the Excalibur is the car the, uh, oh, yeah. the pimp drives in King of the Hill. Yeah, it's like that old-style hot rod. Mm-hmm. But apparently it was like a, an 80s attempt at kind of that, that style. And so it has, like, at least the one I saw had, like, almost... The tubing on the sides was like, uh, like that dryer duct work. Oh, weird. Yeah, it was that kind of collapsible aluminum, it looked like. Huh. Which, I don't know if that's just how they come, or if that was just that person's particular car. <clears throat> Dude, they should bring the, that style back. That style rocks. Yeah. What? There were a lot of car styles I I would love to see again. Like those weird little concept cars. Yeah. Where it's just like a bubble and you're in like it's basically the car that Lowly Worm drives in Richard Scary, which I know I'm the only person who knows about, but But I know the kind you're talking about. Yeah. Or like the... One of the Adam West Batmobiles. Yeah. Speaking of, do you have a favorite uh, Batman rendition? Oh, Christian Bale, you're so dark. Sick. You just mean like series in general or yeah, like just, movie or? I mean any. What what Batman is your favorite? Uh, I'm basic. I'm going to say Frank Miller. I really like Frank Miller's renditions with... Uh, what was the the Dark Knight Returns and I think it was Miller who wrote Killing Joke, which was a lot of fun. But I also love like the the old really hokey stuff. Animated, you know what? Animated series. I was gonna say animated series, but that's what I know the most. Yeah. Uh, apparently, K Crusader on Max. Like the most recent series is uh, really solid. Like pays some homage to that, but also like doesn't shy away from a lot of the hokier stuff. Which I've... seems like the perfect time for it because like with Harley Quinn doing so well on Max, it's having a cleaner version yeah. of that is what yeah. I'm picturing. But because like in Harley Quinn they they kind of take all the heroes foibles or everybody's foibles and just kind of take them up to 11 so bruce wayne's like this sycophantic uh parents boy and jim gordon is just a, a useless alcoholic huh yeah i've seen nothing about but, it or the anime or anything like that Uh, the Suicide Squad anime? Yeah. Uh, I started the first episode of it. It's... It's very anime. <laughs> Have you seen, speaking of adaptations, um, the Rick and Morty anime at all? Uh, not yet. I heard they released one episode, but I've yet to see it. 
Yeah, I mean, I'll at least, you know, give it a shot. Sure, yeah. I, I enjoyed the little bumper they did whenever, you know, the concept first came about. Yeah. Did you, um... And I mean, yeah, the show hasn't been great in a long while, but... It's fine, I feel. Like, it's still watchable. Yeah. Which is more than I would say for a lot of shows that have gone on for that long. That's for certain. Um, and there's still interesting, like, what I always found interesting about it were kind of like the the sci-fi concepts, because they had a lot of fun with those. Yeah. And the humor was never, like, I was never laughing out loud at Rick and Morty. I've definitely Maybe laughed I'm out loud. Maybe I'm not smart enough. <laughs> uh, but a lot of times, you know, it's just like fart and balls and dick jokes. That's a lot of them. Um, did you ever check out Psychops? Uh, I didn't. Oh, it's really good. I got distracted with Vivi and uh, still like inching my way through Buffy, but it's nice to have things kind of break up the the monotony of having Buffy on in the background. I think I got a little Buffy burnout. I can see that. Just, uh, just you wait till you have to be watching uh, Angel and Buffy at the same time. <laughs> uh, technically I'm there. I haven't <gasps> checked out Angel at all yet. I've been told so it's I know I'm the better like, show. Oh, a little B-plot here. Yeah. Well, if you get to it, you'll probably enjoy Angel. Yeah. I, I'll throw it on, and it'll be nice for my voracious content appetite. Yeah, I know that. Um, To circle right. back... Yes. Yeah? I think we got a good polish here. What do Holy. you think? Holy. Let me get a eat little... off of it. Man, I, I, I already wanted to eat off it. I don't know what your problem is. You can put a spoon right where I want it. <laughs> That's for dinner, baby. That's for dessert. We're having cake. That's right. Cake. Are you wanting to do another or move on? Is that what you were getting at? Uh, let's throw one more in here. It's going to be more. tough with all of like the, the lighting effects now added. I think you can do it. Let's see what you get. Our final offer. It's looking a little expensive, Travis. Less wheels. <laughs> oh, boy. Does it say how many less? Nope. All right. Well, if I just grab all this, don't mind me. Uh gonna just take all this away and <laughs> bye bye delete your art ain't that just the way yep that's more room for uh for that trunk we love so much mm-hmm ample storage this that's baby what I like in car is storage space yeah, like a fat trunk. You more of a, a trunk guy or a frunk guy? I love me a grill. I love a good pair of headlights, but... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, know, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> but you know, the trunk really, uh... It does that duty. <laughs> yeah, that trunk's gotta that get some, duty. some stunk on it. <laughs> I do want to get an SUV whenever my car finally dies out, which I fear is sooner rather than later. You can always speed that up. Just Thelma and Louise it. Yep. You and me, car. Except I'm out. Oh, wait, I'm out, Dives. Wait, yeah. gotta get a new car. You just gotta make it look like an accident. Especially after this Oops. is being recorded. I'll edit this out. 
Yeah. The bottle will be up for so long. Yeah, we lost the last, uh, I don't know, six minutes and uh, prompt. <laughs> All right. It happens. Yeah, technical difficulties, you know. Yeah, I'll just put up one of those please stand by screens and I think we're golden. <laughs> oh, I've got one right here. Yeah, I bet you didn't think removing an item would be so strenuous. You probably did. You probably did think, boy, I don't I hope everything I'm drawing here stays. Nah, nothing's permanent in this world. It's true. Nothing's forever. My car is eventually gonna die. Yeah. But I very much hope to take it to the Pacific Northwest before it does die. Is that where it wants to be buried? Ah, uh, it's been every other corner of the country. I drove it out to California. Hey, it's lasted you a good number of trips then. Yeah, I mean, that was certainly the biggest one. It's been down to Georgia twice and Florida once. Um, I guess it hasn't been to Texas. But it... The Northeast, I went as far as New Hampshire. And I'm, I'm not going out to Maine. Fuck that. Oh, but they got a good Fuck music you, scene. Maine, Maine you, does? I mean, I would assume. I imagine. I Well, I hear weird things about the, you know, the New England area. Like, like what? Connecticut? Yeah. Uh, high income disparity, so a high crime rate. Like, it can get uh, pretty rough and tumble up there, from what I understand. And... You live near St. Know, Louis. A lot of very wealthy people, and I'm not terribly fond of them. I do live... I live in St. Louis. Well, I was being like, nice. <laughs> I'm in city proper. Come at me. Dox me. <laughs> Alright, your credit card is... Uh, insert your credit card here in post. All right. Uh, this one's going to be a pretty post-heavy episode, isn't it? Well, that's what happens when you're speaking the truth. you got to edit it all out. Yeah, nobody's ready to hear it yet. i got to grab this chew. I forgot what this color was that I was using for uh, for my shadow layer. Apparently, uh, according to Reddit, they have an upcoming hardcore and metal scene and a few decent punk bands. Oh, that's cool. I'm happy to hear that. St. Louis also, despite being the most dangerous city in the country, uh, let's swatch out here real quick. Um, it has a really great music scene that's really getting some recognition by outside acts. Mm. And so that's been really cool. Um, I've gotten to see a lot of shows in this year alone, like a lot of artists and people, I guess just because everybody's clamoring to tour again, have really come out. Cause yep. like back in the day, uh, people would be like, well, I hit Chicago. Midwest is covered. Are you right? And now it's but, like, no, we uh, gotta go everywhere. Yeah. But St. Louis also has a lot more venues, so they can really cater to a bigger size range of, uh, of you know, talent and audience. Like, uh, have you been to Red Flag at all? I don't think so. It's. It was the venue opened up after the uh, Foo Bar closed. Nope, I have not. Because the the Foo Bar owner opened Red Flag, which is kind of like the the alt punk venue. Why'd they close? Uh, I don't know if it was COVID. It might have been pre-COVID, but uh, I know that us seeing 
Days and Days and Leftover Crack there was one of the the later shows. Yeah, it must have been. And I know both bands are in big trouble because they got bad people. Oh. This is before I knew that. But also, that... uh, the lead singer Leftover Crack apparently, like, the the person he was in trouble with, they've made amends. Oh, that's good. Sorts. Yeah, because my little brother's actually opening for them. Oh, yeah, that's good then, that they've cleaned yeah, up their laundry. They, uh, they were debating on whether or not to do it, and so they they did a deep dive, and that's the only reason I know this. Well, that's a shame about days and days, but eh, maybe things will clean up. Who knows? I say there are... I mean, there's certainly no shortage of folk punk bands out there. True. Just goes to show, don't idolize people like Mr. Beast. <laughs> Who I'm waiting for that fall. I mean, it's kind of happening. Oh, is it? Yeah, stuff is coming out. And he's at least getting some controversy right now. And he's had some kind of scummy staff members that he's hired and... People are like, oh, they're coming out with saying he's faking his videos, which apparently he is for a good number. It's See, a... I didn't know any of this when I brought him up earlier. <laughs> That's why I've been bringing him up so much. That, and it's just funny. Honestly, that makes it better in my book. So yeah, don't, don't worship your YouTube idols, kids. Uh, no. They're all bad people. You know, you probably, probably shouldn't worship any any people online, to be honest, but hey. We're just people. Yeah. Except for ten pages. Let us be Bible. <laughs> Please parasocial us. We're your friends. We're like your real life friends, except just on the internet. <laughs> Not that. I was reading chat. Which I shan't uh, repeat. Travis, guess what? You're out of time, buddy. Oh no. Yeah. See? I mean that was that was the downfall I knew it would be. You knew it you knew it was happening and yet you still went for it. Kudos. Yeah, I'm always going for that, you know, shaving a few seconds off. But honestly, compared to compared to last week, compared to a lot of past drawings, I think we accomplished a lot. Oh yes, but we're not done yet, Travis. Oh, we're not. Nope, nope. We still got to score this, and then we got to go to break, and we got to do a third prompt. You act like you haven't done this before. Ooh, I'm just. You're getting hasty. I've been going so fast, yeah. I didn't realize how slowly the world moved when you're moving at this speed. Yeah, clown, there's also the turtle prawn stuff. But. Love me a good turtle prawn. Travis, don't. Now you gotta edit that out too. Fine. Just make a timestamp for me, will ya? Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna have to come through this episode. It's gonna suck. Okay. Goodbye, weekend plans. <laughs> you didn't have plans. You're right. <laughs> Travis, Bye, dude. tell me about Central your plans. Tell me about your car. Yeah. So I mean, you're here for it. It's <laughs> it's the new and improved. Uh, I don't think I ever gave it a name. You said the number but... twelve. Yeah, it was number 12, but now I think it has to have a name. Now that we've made it a beautiful girl car. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think... Um, could I... Yeah. Lady? Aw, uh, Tiffany? Or... 
Um, we Elizabeth. Mmm. Um, like we Elizabeth. We Elizabeth. And we Elizabeth coming around the bend. Yeah. I think you've uh, you've done these upgrades very well. Um, it, it hurts to look at the car a little bit, so I think you put a really good polish on it. It's real shiny. Yeah. I mean, cast your eyes downward, unworthy dogs. <laughs> so I'm thinking a whole, let's say, 17k. Ooh, that much closer. Much closer. You're inching your way, Travis, but can you do it? Can you make it to the finish line? Oh, I'm gonna need those legs after after all said and done here. And I'm gonna need a piss break. I mean a pit stop. Goodbye, be right back. Oh, happy to be back. Me too. I had a good stretch. I uh did some uh exercises of some sort. Perhaps with my oh lungs. My Oh, nice. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta really work on that lung capacity. That's right. I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. You need all that air. Like, I noticed whenever I had a bunch of Gatorade thrown at my face from the cockpit of this car uh, after my second lap, and then uh, I guess the tires were changed, which yeah. didn't take that much time having to get rid of two of them. Uh, we just slapped that rocket on. I didn't even know we had a rocket, but I mean, they found it. Yeah, I mean, once once the junk piles up, you, you really lose track of what's in there. I think I see an iron giant. Nah, it's just the head. Oh, we could, we could do something with that down the road. Yeah. We'll think about that later. Well, did you do any, uh last minute changes while we were gone? I mean, I know that you were talking about the pit stop. Ah? Uh, Maybe something under I the hood? Do, but the the pit crew was up to something. Yeah, I... Uh, there's a, a new button just popped out of the console at me. I don't know. It's if... got a... It's got like a little face on it. Oh, maybe that was the uh, the AI companion button. Maybe you should press it. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! What? Travis, you're so big. It's not me. I'm stuck in here. What's going on? What well, just? I don't know. Just press the button again. What? Whoa! Yeah, you're back to normal. All right, one more time. All right. And I'm going to pop out so I can really see what's going on. Okay, because I don't think you got the scope of what just happened. Okay, I'm going to get in and press and... it. All right, get in there. Okay, ooh. These are some... Is that Malaysian guinea pig? Travis, you went out. Oh, yeah. The seat's got to be comfy. <laughs> okay, where's this button? Okay. Here we go. What? Oh my god! Whoa! Travis! <gasps> I'm stuck in here! She's beautiful! Mm -hmm. She transformed! No, but I'm stuck in the cockpit! Uh... We Elizabeth? Can you... Can you let the sheriff out? Ah! Uh. I couldn't breathe. Yeah, now you know what I was going through. Yeah. You might want to install some air in there. Some air in, I think. I think we just uninstalled an air in. Fucking hell. I fucking quit. <laughs> well, you saw it here first, everybody. This is the end of 10 phases. We got, I got one more prompt in my contract. Um, All right. What do you want to draw, what Travis? Just, what if I just draw what I see here? You're going to show the world? Yeah. I mean, 
Everybody has to know about this technology. Man, the world would be better if we had cars that could turn into that. Yeah, and uh, bipedal humanoids. You know how fast you'd get to work? Yeah, they... They, like, they transmorph or something. We'll work on All that. Right, we'll work on that. Yeah, we'll bring this to the world. How? Me, uh, I'm feeling fast. Give me 50 on the clock. Holy. All right. 50 on the clock. 3, 2, 1, draw. And you said transmorph? Yeah. That make it a transmorpher? I think that's a good name for it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we could market that maybe. Certainly going to be able to market this. Uh, oh, I see some peaches. Yeah, it's a good thing we got a sexy car. <laughs> no, you do mean sexy car. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what was all on that wheel. You could have gotten a uh, some kind of old clunker. Oh, that was my special polish. It just rips the wheel right off. Ah. Your your own brew. Mm-hmm. The one you go in the house special. You go town to town to sell. That's right. I call it snake oil. Oh, that's fun. You should patent that. Uh is it made I... from snake? Well, until I have a patent, I'm not going to tell you. That's fair. Yeah, I got to protect it in every way that I can right now, because I may or may not have a patent. And I may need to go to the government tomorrow and uh, check on that patent that might exist. Oh, yeah. It's, it's always good to pay a visit to government. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Just to really keep up on your local politics. Yeah. And whatever other business you may have there. Yeah, you know. Seeing how um, your bonds are. And, um... Yeah. Um, maybe if voting. anything's, uh, you know, solidified or... Uh, uh, con congested. I've been practicing my day trading. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Is that something you can really get good at? Uh, no. You're just born good. Oh. But I'm practicing for oh, the... I shouldn't even bother. For the test. No, I mean, everyone should take the test. I'll take my day trading test. But if you fail it, you're going to be a loser your whole life, so... I'll trade you uh, this bundle of newspapers I found mm -hmm. for uh, that packet of seeds in your hand. Well, I don't see why not. Is that it? Is that day trading? Um, I mean, it's a form of it. Well, except for it, it is. is. It's 920 at night, so no. I mean, it's high noon. Ooh. Whoops. Uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, it's day training. Yep. All right. I think I've... You've mastered it. I don't know what you think. I Yeah, I was going to say I mastered it. I'm going to hire you for any financial advice. I hope you're ready for that. You're a master at day I'm... trading. Yeah, I'm happy to serve on any financial needs you may need met. I need so, you. everybody come down to 10 Paces Limited for your financial services. Mm -hmm. I can vouch for him. Travis uh, knows what he's doing when it comes to financial services. That's for certain. I could turn your money into things instead of money. 
And really, if if there's one thing I have a problem with with my money, it's not having enough things. Yeah. This economy stuff is easy. Yeah. Paper become thing. Why, are, why is government always bickering about it? Because dumb? Yeah. Get on our level, government. Come on, Sleepy Joe Biden. It's easy. Turn the money into stuff. We as a country want more stuff. Yeah. I don't. I don't know where to go with. Um. Uh. Uh. Well, you know, we did all this car stuff. We can just hard pivot. That's true. Make a quick e-brake 180. I'm out of here. Um, what else is going on? I talked about uh, Big Machine last week, I think. Play I saw. I saw another yeah. play. Oh, yeah? That, yeah, my sister's play opened up uh, this weekend. Be honest, Travis. Was it a wonderful evening? Oh, it was a matinee. So it was a wonderful afternoon. Mm. It's always what they would have us say um, when we would do theater reviews in school. Is that you would just, whenever, if anyone asked you at the show what you thought, you would just have to say it was like a wonderful evening or something. You couldn't like give your opinion oh, at all. The crappies. Yes. Um, yeah, you, 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 it was uncouth to give, give your opinion before the actual written out piece which makes sense yeah oh shit enlarge kirby i'm sorry carly forgive me Ooh. oh i failed you i'm out here racing day trading drawing transforming dude i was teaching you can't even enlarge one kirby i was fucking teaching okay it's a lot well those who can't do do what? Uh, what do they do if they can't day do? Day trading, I guess. <laughs> oh god, I taught day trading. Stealing content? Uh, <laughs> what? We would never. Uh, I hope it came across what I had to go go through for comedy. How do you trade a whole ass day? That's right, Carly. Uh? That's for me to know oh, and I you traded. to ponder. Oh yeah, I can't give away insider secrets. So that, that's called insider trading, and that's illegal. It's just, <laughs> it's just a way for uh, big money to keep you down. Yeah, get rid of that that stinking money. Send it our way. Yeah, you know, it's just weighing you down. We'll trade it off your hands. <laughs> we'll invest it in more days. We're gonna get a whole week. Then we'll transition to week trading, and then month trading, and then year trading. I only do strong trading. What is that? Uh, it's like trading, but, um... It's got big muscles. Oh. It's funny that you mention it. Muscles was one of the upgrades you could have gotten tonight. Oh, we could have had a muscle car? Mm-hmm. Could have had a muscle car, but you just glanced over it. <laughs> yeah, I glanced over it in a random re wheel. <laughs> yep. I... I I mean, that's what I said at the casino. Is like, yeah, I should have landed on, you know, red forty-five, but duh, I, I wasn't paying attention. Missed it. <laughs> it 
If you read the link I just sent you, it actually does show you all of the options in it. Oh boy. Well, I've got to work on this right now, so I can't read over that, but <sighs> I'll have to... I'll have to take a look after the show. You don't want to speed bump? Uh, well, it depends on what you mean by speed and bump. I will take a bump of speed if that's what you're offering. As we go over a bump in the road? Oh, it fell off my keys. Damn yeah. it. You really gotta put those keys back in the car, Travis. Alright, how else is, is the speed supposed to make it to my nostril? I'll just hold the bag up to your nose. What the fuck? Why are we making this difficult? You're right. We can keep driving and do this. <laughs> that's right. We're certified tra day traders now. Oh. We can do whatever we want. We're smart. No, Carly is smart. We just hotwire the car so we can use the key for bumps. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. You know, why even bother ever turning the car off? Let's just leave the car on. That's smart. Yeah. Okay. Clown says, before I can answer your question, you must answer the question as to what the meaning of the three. word question itself. What as to the meaning of the word question. Well, I'm not going to answer that. Ooh. However, Travis will. Fucking on, baby. Travis. Uh, the meaning of the word question. Um... Question is like, um, you know, when you you say something and uh, it goes up at the end. Yeah, that's like a question. How so? Because uh, it goes up at the end. Can anything be a question? Yeah. Why not? Like, I... uh... If we're really defining what a question is, why, why can't we define what a question isn't? Well, I, I think you'd, you would have to have both of those to get a true definition. That's what we do here. We really philosophize we on do. ten paces. We do something. We do... We ask the big things that, you know, other streamers, other art streams aren't. Defendable. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we have, uh... We go places the other streamers are afraid to. Like, uh... I sounded like... Hmm? Clown says I sounded like JP when I said both speed and bump. I don't know who JP is. Uh, John Wins Paul? Winsworth. JP Winsworth. <laughs> 877 cocaine now. <laughs> Bumps now. Oh, no! Jordan I don't B. like that analog. No. Jordan Peterson. We must We must define both both speed and bumps. <laughs> what is it to be speed? Are we truly fast if we're not like the lobster? <laughs> the ever growing The ever growing crustacean. Yeah, he puts his chest out, so that's what makes him a man! Carly, I Any other questions? Smart guy? Uh, yeah, Clown had another question. Uh, it's the damn sinister thing to take a bump before you know what's in it, eh? Uh, I call it a roll of dice. 
That said, know what you're getting, folks. Test kit. Yeah, I was going to say we're test it, yeah. Like, unless I'm getting something from a dispensary, and even then I should test it. Um, I'd, I'd want to test it, or at least I'd have to know the person, or I, I don't know. It's Even then, it's yeah. sketch. When I was in New York, a uh, friend I visited there was lamenting the the closure of all of these like pop-up dispensaries it seemed to be just kind of like a a boom market where all these dispensaries popped up whenever it was legalized but uh the vast majority of them were not operating legally yeah it's it can be hard harder than it should be to get a uh license to sell like that like a dispensary license Oh, yeah. I was supposed to have a dispensary job back in, like, 2019 or something. And the person who offered it just kept dragging it out. And I know part of it was, like, the licensing process, but you can't, like, you can't just string somebody along like that for no the promise of potentially a good job when you're not giving them a good job as it is now. Do you know what somebody has to go through to, like, make their own weed strain that they can then sell? Uh, you have to have been famous on a, an 80s to 90s sitcom. Or Help a host rapper the who is way ahead of the game. Yeah, well, damn. That means that I can't. I'm not a rapper way ahead of the game, or on 80s and 90s sitcoms. Uh, we could try and make that happen. Do you give it another... Give it another 55-ish years. Dude, that'd be such a cool old man stoner. Like, uh... Yeah, like you could be... Dog. <laughs> the new Sheesh Marin. That's, you know that's not Sheesh my Aaron. I fucking quit. <laughs> how many, how many Aaron puns can I get out? I'm gonna sneak these into every episode I now. My name on stream. Oh, I'm sorry, Jareth. Hey there. In a real caring about this, isn't he? Hi, clown. Uh, he's, he's putting himself back together. It's gonna be okay. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. I, I guess I rattled him enough to fall apart like a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, this is worse than the time that you leaked his nip pics. The world had to know. <laughs> the world it did. Funny. I mean, I thank you. Yeah, I mean, those are there for everyone, and now who's going to live them in for me? For Bummer. having weird nipples. How have you been, Clown? Um, I've been in a radical state of fluctuation. Aren't we all? Yeah, um, but Life no, it, it, I don't know, it's been tough. TBH. I, mean, I think it's okay for me to say that, even though it's the internet. You know, sometimes it's hard. Nah, that's okay. That's valid. I really Sorry. like this um picture, actually. I'm not even trying to oh, change indeed. the subject, but there's some really cool vibes with the cow catcher becoming like the visor. Oh, actually, uh, that's the back. Oh, I, I knew. I thought you. I thought you meant it as sort of like a tilted back head piece or something. Uh, it's just kind of like between the shoulder blades. Yeah, like for, like for the neck and stuff. It's that's cool too. actually a good suggestion to have it as kind of like a knight's visor. Cool, cool, cool. It helps to have input. Yeah, yeah. It's it's great when you can get people to show up on a stream for you and you like. 
uh, you have like this entire audience. You know, it takes like only like four people really, but like four people chatting, and it is a whole different experience because you're a performer again suddenly instead of somebody speaking into a mic, you know, and rolling the dice or whatever. Right. Uh, it's... I've certainly had streams like that. Where, you know, just trying to to fill silence for no one, but for me and potential VOD viewers. And so it's an entirely different dynamic. So I appreciate you participating. Always very appreciated. Yeah, me too. You know, I mean, I appreciate participating. The, um... The, the reason I said that the thing with the visor, though, is because it reminded me of the Rot Knights in Elden Ring. Sorry, you cut out there. The Rot Knights in Elden Ring. Uh, they're the Lady Knights. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. I I am only familiar with, uh, with, like, tidbits of Elden Ring, only because I had to look stuff up for some uh, thumbnails I did. You know, that's really cool. I, I know that Alex, they're really into lore uh, with me, and so it's mm -hmm. honestly cool to imagine you diving in there without sort of anybody else to talk to as much as I do about the lore, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're going into this like I mean... ocean that I'm familiar with, waters I know. Yeah, I just dip in a little toe, and then I, you know, if I get scared, I'm like, I'm swimming out. I'm getting out of here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that that's pretty cool. I, I like trying new things. I actually, I tried sushi for the first time on one of your birthdays, and uh, that's cool semantically. Oh, that was your first time? Very first time, yeah. Wow. And we got all you can eat. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was all really, really good. Yeah. And yeah. that very place is still around. It's still one of my favorite sushi spots in the city. Yeah, we went there, I think, uh, fairly recently. Yeah, it was after uh, some event or another. Yeah, there's something before Pride. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um... I, uh, I I was playing Fortnite. You you would really enjoy this season. This season? Uh, yeah, they do little events. Or they do, you know, story that beats, you know, how there were Mad Max cars. Yeah. So now they're gone, but Doctor Doom came. And uh, I bought a, a skin pack of X-Men. Uh, so I have Cyclops, and I have Jubilee, and I have Colossus. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, it, it was really expensive, but... They got Gambit? They have Gambit? I did. I haven't gotten them. I, um... and I know they did, like, Deadpool and Wolverine stuff, because that was being advertised that, like, the one time I played. Yeah, it was... It was, uh... It's still up, actually. And that's fun. Uh, I heard cool things about, like, now that Deadpool's in the MCU, mm -hmm. um, about the Disney parks. Oh, like, like doing uh, cameo stuff? Yeah, like in-park events and stuff, uh, being kind of a face character. Yeah. Um, and I heard it from, like... You know, one of those big park heads. Uh, he's doing stuff like doing that classic Deadpool humor, but about Disney parks. And it was stuff, you know, Disney would normally try and pretty well keep under the rug. Right, right. Like I, 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 bringing up whenever this is crazy the, to uh, talk about, but I, um, I, I watched d23 part of it in a fortnite world they made for doing it because they had deadpool show up during that part and they talked about fortnite during that part 
Yeah, we, there were, like, there was, there was an obstacle course full of coins to collect, though, too. Uh, all of pop culture is just one thing now. Yeah, yeah. And it can be any one thing you pick, really. Yeah. But uh, apparently, like, at the parks, Deadpool will uh, call attention to things that maybe Disney would have otherwise not said. Like, uh, apparently talking about the time the dragon caught on fire. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Which is really fun. They've, they've had a history of material like that. Um, in some of the more adult pitched uh, venues and stuff that they've done, they had a whole play, a whole a whole area called Pleasure Island, like in Pinocchio, that had this animatronic club. It was kind of like a bigger tiki room you could get drunk in, uh, and the actors were like mixed in amongst you, talking to animatronics on the walls. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, it's gone now, like many years gone. Um, yeah, but the uh, point is, they did. That kind of humor in in those shows as well, like talking about how people don't like the small world yeah, song and they, stuff like that. They had a bunch of weird forays into stuff like that, attempts like that. Like they were never, you know, one big cohesive brand. There mm -hmm. turns out Disney's out here trying shit like anyone else. Extraterrestrial alien encounter. <laughs> I don't know if you know about that. They opened but... up a, a kids nightclub. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I mean, for sure, they're always they're always trying stuff. Sorry, it's... you're cutting in and out. Oh, they're always trying stuff. That's all I'm saying. But I, yeah. I think I think I see uh, the guy on the horizon. Had... Oh, the, what did okay. they have? Tell me anyway. He's coming closer though. Oh, I went on a deep dive with uh, Defunct Plan. Oh yeah, they... yeah, I've seen that. I've seen a lot of that channel myself. Yeah, the uh, their full length documentary about Halix. The, oh, those are his boots on the grass. Man. I've watched that, actually. I, it's on my sleeping playlist I randomize. It's the yeah. sheriff! Super cool. Give and him a kiss, everybody! Disney's... What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Disney's, like, reviving a bunch of old props and stuff, stuff they've had sitting around for newer, like, properties they have going on. Like, in, uh, in Star Wars Land, apparently, you can see uh a lot of the old captain eo characters oh that's really neat yeah they've done stuff like that they haven't used there's this little puppet boy um from one of the i think i think it's maybe the ride you go inside of a person that you, there's also a star wars ride later you on. are cutting it out i can't oh, okay well here here's uh, the sheriff hear what you're saying sheriff Yeah, me scallywags. Welcome back. Hi, good to be back. To talk to Tasha, but uh, I, yeah, there was some mic clipping. I'm not sure what was going on. No, it happens. It's tuned to my voice and my voice only. Sheriff, you've been. Have you gotten saltier? I. You've... I... Yeah, continue. I don't think I will. All of that to just say you don't think you will? I... You indeed. You rascal you. I'll have no talk of that lest you get keel-hauled tonight. I mean, we're going to have to consecrate this this marriage somehow. Aye. Now you sound... That... What is that accent? It's just that how I talk now. Dakotan? No. Ah, uh, is it like a... Is it like a South Carolina thing? It is from the south. Oh, it's Louisiana, like Cajun, like getting a uh, getting crawled out, poor boy. 
You keep this up, you'll find yourself in a cage. Hmm? Well... I got stuff to do, so I can't spend a whole lot of time in the cage, but can't say I'm not opposed to the idea. Ah, you're one of them degenerates. I sure am. My oh. body's been slowly degrading and breaking down forever. Might as well get it broken by a strong lass. Or lad. That's the dream. <laughs> Make sure you be eating your oranges. Keep up your strength. I just got some fresh oranges. The other... They're pretty full of sugar. I the Capri Suns are the way to go. Okay. What about Sunny D? That's a good one, too. I do love some Sunny D. Or some Tang, maybe? Plenty of Tang down in the brig for ya. Oh, boy! Sheriff got Tang! Red! Aye, we pinched a shipment off the coast of... Well, off the coast. <laughs> off the coast of Tang Priests. I was gone for a while, you see. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit. Yes, I... Don't I... Know. Are... How long have you been gone? I know I've been going pretty fast. Is are we doing interstellar here? Uh, is, interstellar I, rules. I suppose it's been a couple of decades since we oh. saw each other last. No, everything I loved. Me? You? What happened to my sheriff? Ah, uh, the old trucks pulling back in. I don't know what that means. Is that a euphemism? Is that actually what's happening? I have to go now. <laughs> wait, wait, tell me what happened to my sheriff. Hey, Travis, I'm back. Oh, thank God. I mean... What? Fucking cop. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I... just went for a piss. Oh, there was... there was somebody here. I could have sworn it was you. I think... I think the heat's getting to you, bud. It... maybe that's it. Have you been sipping on I, the nitrous? Uh... Imagining some, like... cumbersome, kind of like... kind of like the keys issue we ran into earlier, so I just... I broke the end off the tube, and now it's just been filling up the cockpit. <laughs> oh, what do they call that? What did the kids call in that? Ni nitro rolling? Clown carring. <laughs> it's funny that you've said so many things that actually had to do with the upgrades that I chose. One of the options was an infinite clown generator. <laughs> so that's how they work. Yep. Oh, you're gonna get a gang of clowns on your ass. I hope. It's like a magician, you don't reveal their secrets. <laughs> it's 2017 all over again. Ah, oh, simpler times. Yeah. When a clown could run free. Oh shit. Who was that? I. I don't know, but I hope they never come back. <laughs> I just want to cherish this moment with you. That's very sweet. Baka. It's very sweet of you. Yeah, you know, it's... It's been a long, weird night, and it's really... taught me to reflect on what I appreciate most in life. My friends... Uh, my fast, sexy car. Mm -hmm. Some good booty. Good booty. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the light and... of a the light leaving a man's eyes as you gut him. Yeah, and simple commerce. Yeah, making things that are yours yours. And if they didn't have an owner before, they do now. Mm -hmm. The light of a man's eyes leaving as you keel haul him. Is that what? Keel haul? String him up, rope him around. Yeah, I. A good keel haul. Yeah. And night's not like an another without it. Truer words, my friend. <laughs> Travis, um, Clown has some, uh, glowing endorsements for you, for True. Uh, says, Travis' ass literally outdoes Vanillaware. They fucked up a similar angle and ratio so bad. I don't know what Vanillaware is. Um. But I appreciate the compliment. Let me see if I can find you a picture of some ass. Let me see if she looks like a centaur. This won't show you the picture, but um, this will show you the art they do. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's very sexual. And very sort of like magical uh, in a way. I don't know, very fantasy, but that brings about the wrong idea, sort of. Oh yeah, it's very Lifefieldian. Sure. But like to cartoonish accentuation instead of just like bad so like Lyfield style characters but done in a very just enough over the top pushing it for enough mm -hmm. let me see if I can find the picture that probably not maybe if I look up a logo Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But yeah, they really messed up the anatomy in a shot that's like a prominent, um, like game logo type shot. Like, oh, it's a, a game. Oh, they are a developer. The game that we were speaking of is called Dragon's Crown. Dragon's what? Crown. Oh. Oh, that's. That's a little rough, then. Yeah. You never want to see, like, it's okay to have weird kind of trying stuff out art, but whenever you're putting it in official promo stuff, like, it's going to be under much more scrutiny. Yep. Though I think they're... Not just your personal art piece after that. A lot of their style um, lets them break anatomy, too. A lot of the time. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, like, but it was a the the pecs and arms are jutting out every which way, asses out for for Ass days and miles. And there's the booby witch. Everyone knows the booby witch. I do now. <laughs> yep. They even get a muscle Call mommy. Me be witch. Oh. Hoo -hoo. And call me be muscled. Yeah, she'd squish you like a grape. Please. <laughs> and me, muscle mommy. You'll be doing, well, just me a favor. But I'll sign something that says no one can sue you. Or hold you accountable. And you'll get the... The thrill of snuffing out a life. That's right. You get to watch. Call it a trade. 
watch the light leave a man's eyes as you sit on his chest. Because you have to see the, the eyes, because you can't sit on the face. This is what all this day trading was leading up to. That's right. No, you were being very clear. You're good. You're good, clown. Dead ass. Ooh. Looks like she's about to serve me. With that spoon. Nah, clown, you're clear. It was a genuine compliment that I do appreciate. You know, I'm actually super glad that we had that polish on hand. Yeah, it all kinds of works out in the end. Yep. Thing, everything happens for a reason, right? I am wondering Isn't where... Is something people say to, to make the bad times seem less bad? Where'd the rocket go? Uh, you can't see it from the back. Oh my... How sexy. What sex appeal? Yeah, I mean, that was the assignment, right? That's right. And I think... Transform a sexy... I nailed it. A sexy two-wheeled, polished catapult car. You knew. I know. I mean, you... You did the assignment. I'll give you that. Yeah, I did. So everybody, kudos to Aaron. Kudos to Aaron for all the work you did tonight. Mm-hmm. Putting um, in those long, hard hours. <laughs> oh, I think we were just writing we. <laughs> like that's just what you say when you when you're in the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a good idea not to discard the butt thing. No, the butt is the most prominent feature of this car and this transformer. Transmorpher. Yeah, I think I came in with record time on this one. That's that's a fine, Travis. You just said the wrong name, and they just find us. Oops. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. How am I going to get these legs now? It's um, okay. It's okay. It was just a thousand. I'll trade you this packet of seeds for those thousand points back. Travis, it's, it's now 10 p.m. We are way past day trading. Ooh. Um, has anyone ever night traded? That's called dealing drugs. Has anyone ever dealt drugs? Yes. Mm. Oh, W, yeah. You can make your money back in like, I don't know, a couple hours probably. It really depends on what you're selling. What are you going to sell? Uh, probably a kidney. Hmm. That'll get you there. That'll get you there. Anything I have two of, honestly. I got two legs. Uh, I'll sell both of them. Speaking of two legs, Travis, tell me about this beautiful two-legged creature. Wow. I think you, you see what there is to see. Yeah. Uh, certainly a fighter, if necessary, but uh, kind of a Pixar mom at heart. I can, I can see that. I, I'm seeing that spoon, and buddy, I I just want a spoon. <laughs> Serve me up. Of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Cool me off, cause I'm hot. Ah, uh, you should be careful. We talked about this. You gotta hydrate. You gotta, you gotta regulate your temperature. <sighs> yeah, I need more water. I'm real thirsty. 
Yeah, I mean, I think you're just... If you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Uh, you're right. It's all this coffee I've been chugging. Well... Travis, now... I know... I know you like to have a big point total at the end of the night. Sure do. Transmorphers don't come cheap. Yeah, but... Now... What's the trade-in value of a Transmorph? There, there isn't one. It's kind of like the whole uh, Ferrari or Tesla thing. You can't resell them. You can't trade them in. You're stuck with oh. them. And they don't even say stuck with them. You're gifted with them. Gotcha. For life. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like a, a lifelong lease that I've paid yep. an exorbitant amount for. Mm-hmm. So what... What does that put me at? What's the the tab? Um, what were the upgrades you got again? You got the polish. Ooh. You got the polish. Uh, got the make it sexy. Mm hmm Ooh, um, sex appeal, yeah. Sex appeal. Uh, got rid of some wheels. I think that should be mm. some money towards money in my favor. That's that's not how that works. Well, I got a catapult. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll cut you a deal. Okay. I'm going to leave you with... Wait, no. Oh, almost. Yep, okay. Where's over there? Tabulating away. Yep. It's it's a lot of I gotta do I gotta crunch some numbers. Two hundred and eight. Oh. That's enough for a gallon of gas. Uh but can it buy I don't know, whatever fusion cubes this thing runs off of. Uh yeah, actually. It can afford uh, about two hundred and eight. Oh man. Maybe I should just sell fusion cubes. I mean, yeah, I don't see why not. There's a, there's a broadening market, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We gotta go on a drive. I wanna take this baby for a spin. Yeah, I'm gonna need something to take my mind off of uh, me not getting these legs. Yeah, well, we can get you. They can, we, see, they can see we thought of at the top of the show. Uh, super fast. It feels like we've been. It feels like we've been, like miles and ages away from that initial conceit. Yeah, I mean, I've, I became a pirate for a bit there. That was you. Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> uh.